Never been something to my uh, my flavor, man. Uh, you know, I did it in high school uh, a couple times. I had some fun with it, but so you're an in-game dunker. You're not. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm an in-game dunker. You're not and, a blow a candle out. Yeah, no. yeah. And people don't want to hear that. I'm. I'm not really coming out of the booth or nothing. No stuff <laughs> like that, man. I'm more of an in-game dunker. But you know, it's been some years where I've said I was going to do it and didn't do it, and then actually watching the dunk contest and was mad at myself. Right. Because I believe it would have been great. Uh, you know, but now at this point, I mean, I'm over, I'm over the hill now, so it's you ain't gonna see me no time. It's, it's, over. it's over with. All right, so he says he's an in-game dunker. Now he's over the hill. I just don't understand that. I still have the LeBron T-shirt behind me. I don't know if you guys remember this at home. Skip Bayless has been on a campaign for one year. We did the Get LeBron to Dunk hashtag. It didn't work. Now you hear LeBron saying that he has some regrets. Um, Skip Bayless, your reaction. Stephen A., I did appreciate the fact that LeBron, speaking to his brother Dwayne Wade, did finally admit that a couple times he got mad at himself for not participating as he watched a dunk contest that I think he thought he could have won. And I know for a fact I often got mad at LeBron, as I think a lot of fans got mad at LeBron, because I just thought Stephen A., he owed us just one slam dunk contest. He owed it to the fans because we all say, you always say it, I acknowledge it, he's the best player on the planet. And that Saturday night has become so special for me as a fan because it's the one night a year when everybody stops, heaves a sigh of relief, and celebrates the game of basketball. And I, I should probably remind everybody that Michael Jordan participated in three slam dunk contests and won the last two. Kobe Bryant participated in just one, but it was his rookie year, and he won it in 1997. And of course, the great Dominique Wilkins, who often dominated the slam dunk, the human highlight film, participated in six slam dunk contests. So I'm back to my theory, Stephen A. I always thought that LeBron was a little bit afraid to do the dunk contest because he feared he wouldn't be creative enough to come up with the dunks that would win the contest and he risked potentially damaging his Nike brand if in fact he lost a dunk contest. But as we all know, unlike the three-point shootout, which is just strictly ball goes in or ball does not go in, the slam dunk is judged. And there are some politics that sometimes play in the judging. And I always said, Stephen A., that if LeBron would just participate, I don't care what Zach Levine came from out of left field with what between the legs behind the back dunk, I just think the judges would have made sure that LeBron James would have won the one dunk contest he would participate in. And I know he now says he's over the hill, but I, I got to tell you, and he, he also made the point he's an in-game dunker. Last night, in-game in the All-Star game, I thought he got up pretty well. And I thought he pulled off a couple of dunks, the one spin back over the head, that was worthy of a dunk contest. So I, I don't think he's over the hill. I challenge you one last time, LeBron. How about one dunk contest next year at age 31? I, I think you still got it. I disagree with you. I agree with LeBron James. I do believe he's over the hill in terms of a dunk contest. I don't think he'd win it. Um, I thought it, I think if he did win it, it would be about politics. He can still get up. He still has the athleticism, etc. But I think so much has been done in terms of the dunk contest that creativity would go out the window. And that's just how I feel about it. Um, I've never had a problem, per se, with LeBron not participating in a slam dunk contest because I do believe him and I do totally agree with him that he's an in-game dunker until he uttered that he was going to participate. What I hold against LeBron James with the slam dunk contest is that he told Cheryl Miller that he was going to do it and then yep. reneged. That's my disappointment with him. It has nothing to do with him not participating in the dunk contest, but you don't say that you're going to do something, tease everybody into believing that you're going to do it, and then back out. I think that's pretty weak. So in my estimation, that's the only problem that I've ever had. I would have liked to have seen him in the dunk contest. Dominique Wilkins, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, uh, you know, I, I mean, you know, the list, Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, you know, all of these guys over the years participated. He wanted to be the one that wanted to be different. All right, fine. He's earned that and it's cool. But you don't tell everybody that you're going to participate and then renege.
because he was watching it. He wanted to participate because he felt like the like the the contest was going down the tubes and he had everybody looking forward to it and then backed out. That's the only problem that I have with it. Not him not participating, just him saying that he would and then electing not to participate. So what's your theory on why he refused to participate, especially in his prime years? I think he questioned his his creativity. I think that he's right when he says he believes himself to be an in-game dunker. That is absolutely correct. Like, for example, let's take into account some of the great, great dunks we've seen him. We see him elevate. We see him stretch his arm. We see him come down with power, Skip. Uh, last uh, A couple of years ago when he was in Miami and uh, 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 John Lucas's just son was with the Chicago Bulls, I believe, he jumped over him and, and came from the baseline catching an alley-oop yep. and jumped over him for a dunk, right? But in a slam dunk contest, yep. that's not really going to move anybody. You see what I'm saying? And so because of it, uh, it's just Maybe. a different... I mean, his dunks... Are, are significantly more spectacular in the game than they would be in a slam dunk contest. I totally get where he's coming from, and I totally agree with him on that. So I believe that has a lot to do with his lack of part or his absence from participating in the slam dunk contest because he pretty much knows that. But if that's how you feel, then don't tell everybody that you're coming. Don't tell everybody that you're going to do it, and then don't do it. That was that's that's the only part that I thought was unfortunate. Nothing else. Okay, I hear you, but I still say that as as much of a power dunker as LeBron James is in games, that would still translate in the dunk contest just because he's LeBron James. Remember, it was just two years ago in the finals. One of the, was it game one or two in Miami? It might have been game one. Remember when he posterized Tiago mm -hmm. Splitter? I mean, those are the kind of dunks. Yeah. Again, maybe you need some so, uh, some scenery out there. You need but, to posterize somebody. But but again, they're so spectacular. They're so powerful. They're so awe-inspiring that I think they would work for the judges. I I just think you could you could almost say it would be rigged for LeBron. I just, I just think he would have won one of those if he'd done one six years ago, eight years ago, whatever. He would win the dunk contest. But he did just it. because. He's LeBron James. But 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 he didn't, and, and that's it. But the other point is, Skip, when you're LeBron James, you're the, the player, the magnitude of a LeBron James. You don't need to be winning something by default. You don't need to be winning something just because you're LeBron James. You need to be winning it because you want it. Okay, now we understand that a lot of people believe that Dominique Wilkins should have beaten Jordan in that one dunk contest. But that yeah. was Dominique, and it was Jordan. Okay, you're asking LeBron, LeBron, listen, Zach Levine is special. I saw him in UCLA. I knew he was a special talent. I knew there was something wrong with Steve Alford, elected not to play him as much as he should have. He should have been playing more, in my opinion, etc. I get all of that. But but I just felt that way. But what I'm saying is, is that still in all, I, I, I don't want to see a player of the magnitude of a LeBron James going against Zach Levine. As, as spectacular as Zach Levine was, and he was spectacular, if you're LeBron James, the big name that you are, you need to be going against some big names. That needs to matter. That needs to resonate. And I don't think that he should be in a slam okay. dunk contest with a bunch of dudes that, 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 that may be journeymen when all is said and done. We don't know that yet. Okay, and by the way, for the record, Zach Levine said after he won the other night that he would beat LeBron but he put it in the context of, I think I could beat anybody. And I'm sure on Saturday night, Zach Skip. thought he could outdunk anybody on the planet. That That's fine. But why not next year? Stephen A., w w why couldn't we campaign for Blake Griffin to come out of slam dunk retirement and take on LeBron? Would that work? Would, would that be uh, high quality if, enough if you for have, LeBron if, to say, okay, I'll take on Blake? If you had some marquee names who are known for their spectacular dunks participating in the slam dunk contest, and then you wanted to invite LeBron James, that's fine. But I don't think LeBron James should be going up against, you know, guys that that that, that may end up being, I'm not talking about Zach Levine here, but guys that may be lucky to end up staying in the league for a long period of time or, 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 or elevate their status above journeyman. I don't think LeBron James should be com competing against guys like that, not by a long shot. I just don't believe that. And I'm telling you something else, too. You got guys 
uh, you can make a big deal about these slam dunk champions all you want to, and I'm not taking anything away from them. But you can go into a lot of parks throughout this country, guys that ain't qualified to play in True. the NBA, but the one thing they can do is dunk. You know, one of the things that I would be an advocate of is getting some of these 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 street kings, for lack of a better word, you know, or, and from the park yeah. in terms of engaging in dunk contests and let them put on a show and show you how it's done. Because I'm seeing the same stuff from these NBA players. Same stuff. Okay, I'm good. Let's do it. Street King dunk off. All right. Uh, 30 year old LeBron James says he's just Give him some shine. too old to participate in the dunk contest. A 19 year old Zach Levine wins it all. So uh, maybe he has a point. You know who else is 30 years old? Carmelo Anthony. Before the All Star game, Carmelo Anthony said he may shut it down because of his bad knee. Now, again, he's backing off these comments. You talk about somebody who might be lost in gray. What's going on with Melo and his season? Uh, that's what we're talking about when we return, folks.